Hi guys, my name's Andy. Um, I completed the Computer Science MSc conversion course at Bristol, uh, graduated in 2020. This is just a really quick uh, informal video where I'm going to go over some of my thoughts about the course, uh, how it helped me, uh, and discuss a little bit whether that course is, or a similar course, uh, will be right for you. So I did shoot a previous video like this. Um, it was up for about a year. It was pretty rubbish. It didn't get many views at all. Uh, but in case you're wondering, I've heard a few of these points before. Uh, that's probably why you might have watched that old video. Uh, I've taken it down now and this is should be a much better and up-to-date version. Uh, I'll start with the really obvious stuff. I'm guessing the main question most people want to know is, uh, did it help me get a job as a software developer? Uh, the answer is yes, it did. Um, I've been working as a software developer uh, for a startup for uh, almost a year now. Uh, I've been really enjoying it. It's been great fun. And the course directly helped me get that job. Uh, there's no question about it. I would never have got the job without the course. So in terms of content, I felt the course prepared me really well for my job. Uh, I'd say I'd use roughly 50 to 75% of what I was taught in the course. Um, so I'm using object-oriented program every day, using um, SQL every day for databases, uh, using JavaScript every day. Um, my current job is basically uh, is a full stack role. So I'm doing front end and back end stuff. Uh, I think my course prepared me uh, really well for that. Uh, yes, yeah, so in terms of my expectations, um, they were met. Obviously, my out my goal was to get a, a job in software development, and that's what it allowed me to do. So, in terms of how hard it was to get interviews uh, after I graduated, uh, no, that initial I had an initial slump of uh, about a month or two, where I could, could barely get any interviews. I think I had maybe one or two. Um, but after that, they all came flooding in all of a sudden. Um, I think at one stage I had uh, an interview every day or every other day. I'm not too sure why that was, but um, yeah, that was really reassuring because I knew that as long as I was getting interviews, I'd eventually get a role. Um, yes, yeah, so obviously I would never have got the interviews as well without the MSc course. Um, and I had to do obviously coding challenges and stuff which I never would have been able to complete if I hadn't done the course. To wrap this bit up, uh, I'm really happy with how the course turned out for me, uh, allowing me to achieve what I wanted to achieve, which was a role as a soft, a, a job as a software developer, um, to work in tech, um, gave me the skills that I wanted to do that. Uh, now I build, get to build cool stuff every day, that I, which is what I wanted to do when I uh, initially set out to do this. So yeah, really happy. Uh, I guess there were two main downsides, which were, uh, one, uh, obviously the money you have to pay to do the course, it's quite a lot of money. Uh, there are obviously loans to do that, but they don't cover everything, so you have to find money for living expenses, etc. Um, which is a bit of a pain, but sometimes you've got to make sacrifices to do what you want to do. Um, the second one was, uh, the second uh, negative was probably the content that uh, I don't use or that didn't interest me. Uh, I wasn't really interested in computer architecture. Um, we had a module on ARM programming um, as well, which I, which I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure I will never use. But it's good to know. But I'm pretty sure I'll never use it. Uh, I think in hindsight, it would be much better to have a module, um, another module uh, on OOP or uh, on web tech or something else, or even uh, machine learning. I think that would be much better for me personally. Um, but at the same time, I know there are people on the course who would be really interested in that kind of thing and want to do that as a career. So uh, I know it's got to cater to uh, to everybody. And just to add, I'm not in any way uh, exceptional. Everyone I know on the course uh, that I'm still in contact with uh, is now working as a software developer. Even the ones that uh, didn't get the best grades, uh, they still managed to get there in the end. Um, so it's fair to say a conversion course is definitely... Uh, route you can go down if you're not from a computer science background and want to work as a software developer um, provided you take the time out uh, you can get the money to support yourself um, and at the end of the day you're prepared to put in the hard work so that's about it from me um, I hope it's been helpful uh, I might do a few more videos on conversion courses uh, just because there's not much information out there at the moment um, and a lot of it seems to be quite negative um, which wasn't uh, my experience of the course at all. Um, in any case, it's my first video. Uh, tell me what you think. If it's rubbish, tell me it's rubbish. If it's great, give me a like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. 
Um, and yeah, hopefully uh, I'll see you again soon.